Walking trails on Australia's largest island national park, which are set to be commercialised, have been embroiled in a perceived conflict of interest. The ABC understands a company partly owned by the Chair of Tourism Queensland has been shortlisted for the lucrative contract. The state's Integrity Commissioner says the conflict has been managed, but a governance expert believes the case is unlikely to pass the pub test. Laura Gartry has this exclusive story. Hinchinbrook Island is home to one of the world's great wilderness walks. At any one time, just a few dozen campers are allowed to enjoy this largely pristine environment. But that could change with a state government plan to grow ecotourism in national parks. I've been a big proponent of trying to get this because it needs another string to our bow where we've been losing market share for the past 15 years and this is one of the areas it's the fastest growing sector in tourism in the world and we have it we've been playing with one hand tied behind our backs once the boss of virgin blue brett godfrey is now the chair of the authority attracting tourists to the state a company he owns a third of has applied for the contract to build eco accommodation on 60-year leases after the government invited businesses to submit proposals last year the push to commercialise national parks has conservationists worried. Inevitably the consequences to the natural environment will be quite significant. An opposition is growing to another Australian walking company project in South Australia. It won a state government contract to build in the national park on Kangaroo Island. All nature is your congratulation. The ABC understands the company has also been shortlisted for the Queensland tender by the Tourism Department, which is separate to the body Mr Godfrey heads. I can advise every single resident of Queensland is that the decision in regards to Hinchinbrook Island is one being taken by departmental officers and has nothing to do with Tourism Events Queensland. During the process, Mr Godfrey referred himself to the Queensland Integrity Commissioner, who agreed his personal interests gave rise to a perceived conflict of interest because a reasonable person would perceive that you may inadvertently use your official position as chair to advance your private interests. Brett Godfrey has followed all the recommended steps to manage and disclose his interests in the Australian Walking Company. He told the Integrity Commissioner he was a shareholder and a director. It doesn't matter whether I'm a 1% shareholder or a 100% shareholder. In reality, if there is a conflict, there's a conflict. Even though legal requirements have been met by Mr Godfrey, one governance expert says it's unlikely to pass the pub test. I think the government does have a public perception problem that in this case it might not satisfy community expectations and that might um, cause the government some problem. The Tourism Department says an announcement on the shortlist is expected soon. Laura Gartry, ABC News.